guys. I hope you can see me. It's a little dark. So I decided to venture out today. I didn't go to the stores or anything like that. I went to visit my mom. She's uh, 91 and she still lives by herself. She's in great shape, but you know, we got to keep our eye on the older people. Oh wait, I am the older people. Anyway, I went to visit my mom and I decided to venture out. And uh, a lot of people must be uh, doing their hoard clean out because we have bulk pickup in our town this coming up week. And the tree lawns are just loaded with junk. Well, some of it is not too bad, you know, so if you're a picker, it'd be a great time to go picking. But anyway, so I guess people are staying home and making good use of their time. And then I saw tons of people out walking, couples, you know, mostly older couples or um, moms with their kids. And everybody and their brother is walking their dog. So it's a good time to just kind of get tasks done and maybe chill a little bit, enjoy nature, because getting outside in the fresh air, nothing wrong with that, we all need that. So um, that's my venture out. And then I was going to have my taxes done and my tax people pooped out. I was getting them done through ARP and of course, uh, they're all older people there, so to err on the side of caution, they canceled it, and I was supposed to go on the 27th. So my mom has a tax guy. She lives in a different city than a um, different town. So uh, she asked her tax man if he could maybe do my taxes too. So I had to take my tax information to my mom's house so he could come and pick it up. So I got to my mom's house. She was gonna make us lunch. And um, with the thought of dropping off my taxes, and I got there and I went, I forgot the taxes. <laughs> so anyway, oh boy. Senior moments, aren't they fun? So anyway, I had to drive all the way back home and it takes me about 25 minutes to get to my mom's house. She doesn't live real far away, but there's a lot of traffic lights and things like that. So I turned right around, went right back home, went and got my tax papers, went back to my mom's, and then we had lunch. So, and she made me delicious potato pancakes because we're German and it was always one of our favorite favorite things to, uh, to eat. So real authentic German pancakes. I've made them before too, but they're kind of a lot of mess because you're frying them in oil. And I really don't like to fry in oil too much. Not that it doesn't taste good, it tastes great, but it does make a mess. So anyway, that was my adventure out into the world today. And uh, it felt good to get out and just do some driving around because the traffic is pretty light too. You know, people are staying home. Moms have their little kids at home and so, but anyway, I just wanted to pop up here and say hello and I'll talk to you in a little bit after I get home. Friends, <clears throat> I'm back from my little excursion and it felt really good to get out there, get some fresh air. Saw my mom. So I just wanted to go over um, a few more things that you maybe want to consider maybe doing while you're stuck in the house. Are you guys getting bored or are you doing pretty good? Leave a comment below and let us know what you're up to. So anyway, I got a nice surprise. I got some friend mail from uh, Adam. He's from Wales and he sent this lovely 
magazine about the royal family, and there's all kinds of stories in here about the royal family, which is really nice. And there's the queen mother, and she's 90, and she's still going strong. So yay for the queen mother. So <clears throat> it's got some really nice articles in it. So thank you very much, Adam. That was a really nice surprise. And he also sent um, a nice uh, card here. So this is a, a dinner that they had. So he sent that with a nice little note on the back. Um, and then he also sent this lovely Easter card. So that was lovely. So that was a really nice surprise. So thank you, Adam. I appreciate it very much. It was very thoughtful of you to send this across the pond to me. Thank you very much. So I don't want to make this video very long today. Um, so I'm just going to leave you with some tips that you might want to consider if you're getting really bored and you're running out of ideas of things to do. Okay, the first thing, you can learn to meditate. And there are a lot of meditation um, sites that you can go on for free that will help guide you into a guided meditation. You can meditate on all sorts of subjects. You can meditate on, on weight loss. You can meditate on, on um, being calm. You can man, um, meditate on manifesting money or whatever it is you want to bring into your life. So start slow with that. Don't get discouraged. Um, it's a process that you, you learn. It's not something that most people can just jump into and be experts at. So try meditation. It really does work. Another thing you can do is you can document your experience with this whole um, situation, this worldwide situation and the isolation and things that you're doing in your home. And you can either uh, write it down in a journal or you can document it on YouTube. Now, you don't have to make your uh, videos public. You can keep your YouTube videos private for just you and your family. And that way, down the road, maybe your grandkids would like to learn something from you because who, who hasn't learned things from their grandparents, right? So you can leave it as a legacy to your family and, and you know, future uh, generations, your grandkids, maybe your great grandkids, and um, you can either write it down or document it in a vlog. So that's originally why I started this YouTube channel. I wanted to leave a legacy for my kids and my grandkids, and um, then I thought, well, you know, why not? I'll just do a channel for all you guys too, and and I've been very happy with it. And I've met a lot of really, really great friends on here. So that's another thing you can do. Um, if you have a smartphone, you can play games on your smartphone. You can download um, um, books from Amazon. Uh, a lot of them are free or very low cost, 99 cents uh, to, you know, anywhere from there up. But some of them are free. And you can actually read them on your iPhone. That way, if you do happen to go out, you can take it with you and you can read a book. Um, you can do adult coloring. And if you don't have a, a coloring book uh, that's for adults, you can always color in a children's coloring book. You can also download pictures from online and print them off. And then you can color those. And you can use crayons or you can use markers, or you can use colored pencils. You can even do a black and white one, uh, depending on you know what you have on hand. So you can do that. You might discover you're very artistic. You can sell some of your things online. And even though we're, a lot of us are sort of staying away from people, um, you can download um, 
or upload a lot of your things to like a Facebook marketplace and you can just have people come and pick it up uh, like a porch pickup or you could always mail the things and I know that um, the mail service you you can download an app where um, they will come and pick it up on your porch if you schedule it I don't know exactly how all that works because I haven't done it, but I know that that's available. And um, so check it out with your local postal service to see what, what's available, and that way you don't have to go to the post office. Um, you can learn a new language. Now is a great time to learn a new language, whatever your passion is. If you want to learn French or, or Spanish or whatever, um, now's a good time. And I think. Uh, Dual Lingo, I believe, is free, but I'm not sure. But they do have free sites where you can learn a language or look around on the internet and maybe you can find something that fits your needs. You can call an old friend that maybe you haven't connected with in a while and then you could set up uh, to uh, eventually do FaceTime or you could do um, Skype you know, one of those two apps, um, just give them a call. You know, I bet they'd be really happy to hear from you. And it's, you can catch up, so that could kill an hour or so of time. And it would be fun. Um, you can do a self makeover. Look in magazines, look in Pinterest, um, you know, different sites online, get inspiration from some YouTube videos and look through your makeup and see what you have that's similar and look through the hairstyles and um, you know maybe if you have long hair you could do an updo or you know and, and make a new makeup look and do a self makeover you can take a whole week and do a spa do a different um, thing every day one day you could do a facial and you could do a mask and you know Next week, you could do your hair, do a, a mask for your hair, condition it, uh, do an overnight conditioner, wrap your head in a plastic and a towel, and condition your hair overnight. And then uh, you'll have, you'll be beautiful at the end of this whole thing anyway. Um, you can take one day and do a mani patty or um, soak in a tub, get yourself a nice bubble bath and a glass of wine if you're inclined to have a glass of wine or a glass of hot cocoa or whatever it is you like and just relax you can take a book in there or you can listen to an audio tape i believe your local library you can uh, download audio books i'm not sure on that one but check with your local library um, or you could listen to podcasts. There's tons of podcasts out there that you can listen to while you're doing all your other things and then you can learn something too. Um, read a book in bed. And you know, you could even have breakfast in bed. You could read a book, have a latte. And then when you get tired of reading, just roll over and take a nap. That'd be a fun thing to do and it would be relaxing. And it wouldn't be so you could get rid of some of the stress some of you might be feeling because of all the isolation. So give that a try. Um, you can color coordinate all your clothes. <laughs> if you really want to. I mean, I do. Um, but you could go in your closet or in the drawers or whatever it is and color coordinate your clothes. That way it makes it really, really easy to pick out an outfit. You know, today I want to wear navy blue and mustard yellow. And, you know, you just go in your closet and you pick out the outfits that you have and Bob's your uncle. So you could do that. Um, you could take apart some floral arrangements that have been hanging around your house for a long time. Um, some of them might be dusty. A good way to, to dust those is to put them in a paper bag with some, um, I believe it's, I believe it's salt and shake them up 
and that'll get rid of the dust. If, if it's not salt, it's baking soda. I can't remember which it is, but baking soda I think would make a mess, so I think it's salt. But you can shake them up in the bag and get them nice and fresh, or I'll bet you could even tumble, air tumble them in your dryer and, um, you know, freshen them up that way and get yourself a nice new vase that you have in your closet or a bowl and make yourself a beautiful new flower arrangement from your flowers that you had that you're just really kind of tired of looking at. So you could do that. Another thing you could do with your old floral things is make a wreath. Um, if you don't have a form, like from the Dollar Tree, um, you could even take an old Christmas wreath or something and pull all the Christmassy stuff out and put some flowers in instead and make a spring wreath. So I've done that before and they turned out great. Um, so you could do that. And last but not least, this is the last one I came up with, I'll think of some more, uh, count and roll all your change. So you could do that and then uh, depending on how much you have, you can either, you know, treat yourself to maybe a drive through coffee or a drive through lunch or give it to your grandkids or whatever it is you want to do with your extra money or save it, you know, put it in the bank. You can even drive maybe past the teller and say, here you go. I wouldn't do like, you know, a big huge box of it, but maybe a little at a time and put it in your savings. So that's all the tips that I have for today. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay, that you know, you're all well and, and happy. So take this time to reflect, reflect on your, on your life and maybe write down some of the things that you'd like to keep in your life and some of the things that you'd like to change in your life. You know, if you've always done things a certain way and you're tired of doing them that way, make a plan of how you can do it differently or stop doing it. You know, if, if it's something you don't like to do, then maybe just stop doing it. But, you know, survey what's going on around you and your life and how it, what direction it is you want to go and just make a plan. So that's all I have for you today. I just want to say I wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.